Hygieia is still qualified as the fourth largest rock in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. But recent observations reveal a more spherical world. According to the International Astronomical Union, there are four requirements that an object has to meet in order to count as a dwarf planet. It has to be in orbit around the Sun, but not a moon orbiting another planet. It has to clear other objects out of its orbit and it should be large enough to have become rounded by its own gravity. The entire main asteroid belt meets the first three requirements, but it looks like Hygieia meets all four now. Recent high-resolution images taken by the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope reveal Hygieia has a spherical shape, and this should qualify it as a dwarf planet. Asteroids come in a variety of shapes, but the spherical shape proves dwarf planets had enough mass for their gravity to pull them into a spherical rock. Until now, scientists thought Hygieia is a chunk of rock with diameters of 350 kilometers one way and 500 kilometers the other way. But new measurements estimate its diameter is just over 430 kilometers, less than one fifth of the width of its cousin Pluto, which has a diameter of about 2400 kilometers. Another surprise is that astronomers were expecting to find a huge impact crater on the surface of Hygieia, but found none. The impact was thought to be the result of an asteroid impact that created more space rocks to share Hygieia's orbit. There are around 7,000 small objects of similar compositions sharing Hygieia's orbit and because Hygieia is the largest body in this group, the space rocks are collectively called the Hygieia family. Scientists think the family formed about 2 billion years ago when a large asteroid broke Hygieia up into thousands of pieces. Something similar happened to Vesta to create the Vesta family and Vesta has the impact scars to show for it. However, before the International Astronomical Union can officially upgrade Hygieia to dwarf planet status, they must review all the evidence and take a vote. <laughs> 